Yo guys, it's your boy Diablo Gaming HD here, and today I have another video for you guys. Uh, we're back, actually back onto the PC, and I'll just be showing you, uh, as you can see in the thumbnail, uh, a few tricks uh, with the CMD. So that's the command prompt. Uh, yeah, so you can know you can easily use it kind of to trick your friends um, into making you like a top brass hacker. I mean, there are loads of YouTube videos on it, so you're not really a top brass hacker, to be honest. Uh, so, yeah, so basically this is on Windows 10, you have to click on search window, web, or web and windows, I don't know why my computer is a bit slow at the moment, uh, but on, I think it's on Windows 7 or 8, you go into run, and then you type in uh, CMD, yeah. this has a tiny bit of input lag for some reason, and it should come up any time now. Anytime soon. Come on. Don't be shy, CM needs to come out. Okay, there. There it is. Wait, I'm just waiting for it to all. Okay, there it is. Sorry, guys, my computer is really sort of uh, slow at the moment. But anyway, once it comes up, you right click on the CMD. You don't actually click on it, click on it just yet. Now uh, you right click on it and then you run as administrator. Um, that just makes it better because it gives you all the privileges and like you can do whatever basically. Or if you can, I, I don't know, um, there's also another way. You just gotta go into your computer and then you gotta change your privileges, your account privileges, so that you have like full control of the computer. And you could guess here, it's a verified publisher, Microsoft Windows, is nothing dodgy about it. Every computer has the CMV, so yeah. Okay, so the first trick I'll be showing you is basically how to change the color on the CMD. So uh, you type in uh, color first, and it'll go. Well, really, you can just type in color like A, change it into green, color B, color C, and so on. Oh, wait, this color Z. Yeah, okay, here. That's basically all the colours right there. That's what I was looking for. You just type in colour and this will come up where it tells you um what each colour corresponds to. So I mean just like the example down here where it says colour S C produces light red and um sorry, produces light red on bright white. So uh the bright white is gonna be the background and the I think the um uh, light red is the writing. Uh, that's basically how it works out. So if we type in color FC right here, that's what happens. Yeah, so that's right. Um, uh, another trick that I'll show you is uh, if you want to play a prank on uh, on one of your family computers and your family members, uh, this is basically how you can um, uh, get it basically, like to change another account's password. So you type in that user first, like that, and any time soon, yeah. That comes up, so it tells you the um, accounts. Uh, then you type a net user, uh, net user guest, and then that's the one I want to change. And then the sort of star, and then this comes up. Type enter password. So I'm not actually going to change it. I'm just going to if I can enter for both. Uh, the command completed successfully. Okay, I'm not actually going to change it because I know it's my computer. I don't want to change it. Uh, this is how you can get. Um, the IP addresses of um, computers on your network, so you can play a prank on your brother or sister or whatever if they're on their laptop. And, you, and further after this, I'll show you how to shut down the computer using that IP address or restart it. So you type in, uh, uh, I forgot what it was. No, 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 no. No, I've got, I, I know this, I know this. Wait, just let me give me a second to think, guys. Um, yeah, it's NetView, that's what you might say. Sorry for the delay. Job in NetView. So for me, it'll come up with, it should come up with like an error sign saying that no, there is, basically, what it'll say, it can't complete the command because there aren't actually any computers on my network except mine. Actually, on at the moment, yeah, the list of servers for this work group are currently not available because there aren't any computers online. But what should happen afterwards is that there should uh, come up a sign. Um, uh, come up with the PC's name, so I don't know, might say, I don't know, Toshiba, Toshiba PC or something, I don't know, something like that might come up, uh, and then basically to get the IP address of that computer, 
you have to type in ping and then whatever the computer's name so in this scenario if it was Toshiba Toshiba PC then it would ping it and then it should it, uh, that computer will automatically ping you back because I don't know they are brothers and sisters and they love each other no I'm joking but basically it will ping the computer back because that's what the computers are designed to do and then uh, the numbers that come up they that's the IP address and then to actually turn it off of that you go on to shut down dash i and then a uh, web page like that should come up and then you click add and then whatever the IP address of that computer is and then over here you can like choose what you want to do with it how many seconds before you want to warn you to do the action and stuff uh, so basically I think that's basically it today with the sort of tricks uh, you can go on to YouTube videos because I know I know how to like uh, put on viruses and stuff in the videos and stuff but I, I probably won't be doing videos on that just to say guys this, this video is only for educational purposes only um i'm not responsible for any trouble that you guys get in so let's do it at your own risk uh, basically so peace guys uh that's the video for today if you enjoyed it like and subscribe if you didn't well then give it a thumbs down uh peace